na to, pag-uusapan natin ay ang tungkol sa sport na fencing. So, ano nga ba yung fencing? Fencing is an active sport played in Summer Olympics. It is also known as Modern Fencing or Olympic Fencing. Fencing is required extremely high levels of ability, mental and physical strength, as well as intelligence. In other words, this game is a balance between your strength and mental ability. Fencing is a game in which is played between two fencers. Both the fencers use walls to attack the opponent and to defend themselves. There are some rules and regulations which the players have to follow while attacking or defending. Three different groups of weapons are used in fencing. Each weapon has its own set of rules and regulations. Most of the fencers select one so as to specialize in using one of these weapons. So, naman yung mga equipment or mga kasuotan ng kinakailangan sa paglalaro ng fencing. Isa na dito ay yung jacket. These jackets are entirely designed for fencing and are closely fitting with a special strap that goes between the legs and are used to provide adequate protection to the fencers. In case of saber fencing, a different kind of jacket is used which is cut along the waist. A small garden of colored fabric, defensive material is sewn around the jacket's collar to prevent opponent's bait to slip in between the mask and jacket. Plastron. This is an underarm protector that is worn below the jacket and is used to provide extra protection to the sword. Arm. Belly and some points of the fence's backside. This is used as last line of defense between your body and a broken weapon. Extremely strong to penetrate. These are mostly made and have large. Globe. The sword hand is protected by a globe with a gun left that prevents blades from going up to the sleeve and causing injuries. The globe also improves grip. Breaches in or knickers. These are short trousers that end just below the knee. They are required to overlap 10 cm of the fencing jackets and are equipped with braces. Shoes and socks. The shoes used in fencing is specially designed with flat soles as well as other changes in the inside of back foot or the heel of front foot to avoid problems. During lounging, and they keep the fencer's foot in place when he lounges. The socks used in fencing should cover the parts that are not covered by the sneakers and the sneakers should overlap them. Mask The fencing mask can support 12 kilograms on the metal mesh. A grip which is made of ballistic materials or fabular is included in the mask to protect the neck. Area which supports 350 newtons of penetration resistance on the beam. The official regulations dictate that the mask must withstand 25 kilograms on the mesh and it must have 1,600 newtons of penetration on the beam. Chest protector. It is made of plastic or aluminum and is mandatory for the female cancers and is used as a chest guard. Even for males, chest guards are there but they are primarily used by the trainers or instructors rather than the fencers who mostly get hit during the training. Chest protectors are more famous in foil fencing and act as guards against heat. Lame A lame is a layer of electrically conducted material worn over the fencing jacket in foil and silver fencing. The lame covers the entire target area and makes it easier to determine whether a hit fell within the target area. Sleeve An instructor or master may wear a protected sleeve or a leg leather to protect their fencing arm or leg. Respectively, traditionally the fencer's uniform is white and an instructor uniform is black. This may be due to the occasional pre-electric practice of covering the point of the weapon in dye, suit, or colored shock in order to make it easier for the referee to determine the placing of the touches. Grips In fencing, the grip is the part of the weapon which is gripped by the pencil sides. There are two types of grips commonly used today. 
is called French. French grip with a pommel for the end of it and the orthopedic pestle with it. Bursary, all high level foil fencers use a pistol grip. In Epe, both types are used. So, hi guys! Guys and fencing, there are three weapons that we use and that are AP, foil, and saber. All weapons in general are based on the same basic set of rules making it relatively easy to switch between AP, foil, and saber. Although, each weapon has its own unique subset of rules which affect the speed, duration, and style of a fancy match. The first weapon is what they call AP. AP is the original doiling sword. It was developed in the middle of the 19th century to train individuals for doils. The weapon's blade is somewhat triangular in shape and quite step to bend. Since the whole body is considered target, the guard is lard and bell shaped to protect the hand from hits. Heads to target are made with the point of the belt blade only. So the second weapon is the foil. Foil evolved from the short court sword of the 17th and 18th century and started as a lighter and more flexible weapon of the practice of fencing. The blade is quadrangular in shape and since only the front and back of the torsos are considered target, the bell shaped guard is much smaller than a face. As with a face, heads are made only with a point of the so The third weapon is saber. The saber is the weapon developed from the back sword of the Elizabethans and the heavy cavalry saber. The saber blade is V shaped with a point folded over to form a bottom. These weapons differ in that it is cut and thrust type weapon. Target includes head, arms, and trunk to the west. Because the hand again is the considered target, the guard is half rounded to protect the fingers. Due to the fact that saber is a cutting weapon, this is the fastest out of the three weapons. Thank mm -hmm. you. 